We're in a flow visualization in a multi-user environment. I'm in here as well as my uh, co-founder, Jason, and we can both interact with the content and ask AI a multitude of questions. In this example, we are looking at every company that's gone through Y Combinator through the bash of in 2020. Um, so we can ask AI general questions. And so we have a button here called ask without context. What is Y Combinator? So we can ask general questions here, similar to how we'd ask ChatGPT or anything and get a response here in three-dimensional space that's relevant to the thing we're looking at. Um, and this is still a fully featured flow. So we can go through step-by-step, step, look at the data through a variety of different lenses. Here we're looking at the class year and we can see how there's a few companies in 2005 and quite a lot by the year 2020. Um, and there's more we can start to do here, including filtering and some of the other aspects, but one of the buttons we've added is a uh, provide context button. And so all I do is I selected a data point. In this case, I have zip phone acquired and I click provide context and it's going to take the context of that dot of zip phone and then pull in additional information about zip phone. Um, and so here information that's not in our data set is being retrieved and brought back uh, for context in this specific set specific setting. Uh, but let me go to the next step here and we can go one step further which is to take either that same dot or let's actually select a, a new company here, Plasticity, and ask a question more specifically here. So we'll ask with context. Tell me who the founders of this company are. And so we're asking a question that's relative to that dot that's being shown uh, and we're getting information about those founders. And so you can see how we start to explore this data and the content further and further and that we add this sort of contextual layer that allows you to ask questions and understand the information in new dynamic ways. Um, this last view is looking at the where the headquarters is. And so you'll see a, a very large bar here in San Francisco. Um, and on this instance, uh, we're having the, we have the ability to filter and edit the information. Filter to only show me companies in San Francisco. And so it's now filtering the, the, the data in my view to only show those companies that were based in San Francisco. Uh, one last perspective is how do we actually just visualize a conversation with AI? What are the different ways you can visualize information? And so here what it's going to be doing is it captures the question that I asked here as a node, and then it creates an answer with additional nodes that we can explore. Who are the five most famous infographic art authors? So here we get some answers for Tufti, for Tokairo, many others in this space. So here you're getting a sense of some of these new interactions that we're enabling, and each step here features a different uh, AI capability that we are experimenting with. Uh, so if you'd like to be part of this, uh, do let us know.